Director of Outreach for the National Test Prep Association. Joining us now for more on how to prepare for these big exams. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, I love that we're talking about this because I have a senior daughter. So th there's been a lot of discussion with colleges about the ACT and SAT. David, are they still relevant? Should kids still be taking them? It's a great question and really is on everyone's mind for especially someone who has a junior or senior. So just to set the landscape, 4% um, of colleges in the U.S. are test required. You have to have SAT, ACT scores to apply. 88% are test optional. They'll still look at your application even without a test score. And 8% are test blind, which means they don't even care what they are. They won't even look at your scores. So you could say that in one of two ways. You could say, well, that means 96% of colleges are either test blind or test optional. That doesn't sound like test scores are very important. Or you could say that 92% of colleges are test required or test optional. So. It really matters how you phrase it. So the, the, the pivotal question is, for test optional universities, do they care about scores? The answer is absolutely yes. It varies a little bit uh, institution to institution. And the best way for families to know is to actually look up a college's common data set. So any colleges that you're interested in, just Google common data set and that school's name, and it'll tell you what percent of admitted students got in with or without test scores. Now, the important point is that test optional colleges, 88% of colleges, they're inviting you to send your SAT and ACT scores. You don't invite students to send information you don't care about. Interesting. All right, what about GPA? Does it matter as much or the same as those test scores? It's a great question. So GPA has always been, at the vast majority of colleges, the best predictor of success at college. So GPA is still the most important criteria and especially if a student is applying without test scores, if they have a, a test score that's in the bottom 25% or below of a college's uh, SAT, ACT scores for admitted students, they probably shouldn't submit test scores. For those of students not submitting test scores, GPA becomes even more important. David, should students be taking the SAT, the ACT, or both? It's a great question. So to determine, I would say definitely take the test because not only can they, if you get a good score, and a good score would be above a college's median for their admitted students, if you get a good score, it's not only increasing your chances of admission to those schools, it's also increasing your chances of getting more merit aid and more scholarships. So not just getting into college, but paying for it. So I would definitely encourage students to take the test, whether the choice between the SAT or ACT though, students should take an official practice test of each and see which they do better on and then likely prep for and continue to take that test. Okay, I'm hearing that the SAT is changing next year. What's happening? End of an era. So um, 2023 is the last year of the paper SAT. So after December of this year, there will never be a paper SAT ever again. Uh, it's going digital. The next time it's offered is in March of 2024, after this year, and it'll be a digital adaptive SAT. I mean, that makes sense, right? Everything's mm -hmm. going that direction. Where can parents and students go for more information? On that, um, they should go to the collegeboard.org. College Board has four practice tests for that digital test. I will say, so the class that this is affecting is current 10th graders, current sophomores. The test is changing right in the middle of what will be their junior year. They're probably better served actually doing the ACT, so they're not preparing for an SAT that then is gonna change halfway through their junior year. Um, but they can still go to collegeboard.org, try out those tests. I love the new tests, but hmm. uh, not a, a, a random sample. Okay, David, this is these are great tips, great information. I wish I had this her junior year. abc4.com slash daily dish for more. Hey, take care, thank you so much. Thank you so much.